Welcome to How to Sew with Jenny T, where you're going to learn quick and easy sewing tips, tricks, and techniques that's going to help you learn how to sew and to improve your sewing skills. I'm Jenny T, and this is sewing tip number two. How many times have you worn something and the button has simply fallen off? I would bet many times. And how many times, come on, let's be truthful, have you simply not worn the outfit anymore because the button fell off and you either didn't know how to sew the button on or you thought it was going to take too long and you just put it aside and you still have yet to repair that one little button. Okay, now these instructions are not just for people who want to learn how to sew and make sewing projects. This is a basic skill that everyone should know how to do so that you can repair something as simple as a button falling off your shirt, dress, skirt, or whatever. Okay? And you're going to be amazed at how easy it is, and I'm going to show you how to sew at a button right now. To sew on your button, you need your fabric or garment, your button, a needle and thread with the thread threaded all the way through so you have a double thread here and just knot that at the end. Uh, double, threading your double threading your needle will make sewing on your button stronger and faster. Now if this is going to be a button for garments that have to go through buttonholes, you're going to want a way to lift this up a little bit away from the fabric to create a shank so that you have some room to actually maneuver this through a buttonhole. If it's for decorative purposes, you can skip this step and just sew it straight to the fabric. Um, but for a shank, what you'll do is you'll take two straight pins and where you plan on putting the button, I'm going to insert one here like this and then another one making a crisscross like that. Then you're going to lay your button right on top of those pins and sew your button on this way and these pins will allow to give you that space you need in between your fabric and your button to give you the space to create that shank. With your thread knotted you'll start from behind your fabric on the wrong side and you'll just go ahead and insert your needle through to the center of where your button's going to be and pull it up so the knot catches on the other side and then you'll start with one of your holes here on your button we'll start with this one here and pull all the way down now you can decide at this point how you want to sew on your button. You can do a crisscross pattern so that you have X's or you can do just a straight here and straight here. It's completely up to you and how you want your garment to look. Okay, We're just going to do straight this time. So I'm going to go straight through this hole here and pull out through the bottom of the garment. just like that. And I'm going to do that about four or five times. Okay, we have one side done. And oh, it's kind of cute. Look, there's like a little face. Little eyes, little nose. Okay, and now we're going to do the other side. Same exact thing. Just come with the needle over to the other hole here. Just like that. Pull it through. And down the other side. Do that about four or five times. Make it nice and strong. I always overstitch my buttons because I like to know that they're not going to fall off. But the, nothing's more frustrating than wearing something, the button pops right off. Okay, so now we have it four or five times on each side and we can remove the pins. And then we're going to pull the needle back up through. But this time we're going to just go pull it up so we can see it 
beneath the button. So here's my needle. I'm just going to pull up through just like this. Okay. And then we're going to wind the button around the threads you had just sewn. So I'm going to hold the button here. Just like this. Actually, I'm going to hold the fabric like that so you can see. And it's going to wind several times around. Okay. And that creates the shank creates that strong space between the fabric and the button. And then now I'm going to just insert the needles back through a little bit of the threads as well and back through to the back of the fabric without poking myself here. And then we're just going to finish it off. So I'm going to flip this over and I'll, how I like to finish off is just simply do a series of back stitches over them, over each other. So, and through some of the threads I already have. And this kind of just creates basically a tangle within the fabric and it creates its own knot almost. So I'm just going to stitch. And I'm going to stitch the same place again. Do it one more time. Through the fabric and up through like that. And maybe even one more time since I still have some thread here. Again, I like to make it nice and strong. Just like that. There, that's nice and strong. And just stitch them off your threads. And there's the back. Here's the front. And the button is nice and strong and secure, ready to wear.